What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Eniley Random, and we are back today with day number two, the nighttime wash routine, okay? So, if you guys haven't already seen my unboxing of the Trisha Paytas um, Glow Skin Enhancement, or you haven't seen day one, or night number one, or day number two, go ahead and check it out. I'll go ahead and put a playlist down below so you guys can check it out. If you make it to the end of the video, there'll be like a little playlist button for this as well. Um, so let's get into washing the face. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Okay, so like I just want to go ahead and let you guys know that today I was busy. Like I, I decided to make a change and I like, I don't want to say I don't know how long this change is going to last, but I'm being proactive and I'm getting things done and so i got a lot of things done today like i put a lot of clothes did the laundry and this and this and that and honestly i worked myself until i gave myself a headache so i got up at like seven o'clock and i've been moving since about seven o'clock pretty much my husband went to school about 8 30 or so and so i've just been moving since then i put up some curtains now I think I might need another tension rod because this is a little weak, okay? Now, like, you just pull on a little bit, the thing is coming down. Um, but it, it adds something to this. I want to get some fake vines and actually put it in the bedroom on the walls. And then, like, yesterday, me and Stu put, like, a light strip behind the bed. And the TV kind of has its own little light strip going around it as well. So I'm kind of incorporating us into the place and like I bought those light strips from a while ago like the old apartment I wanted to decorate the bathroom and put LED light strips around the mirror and I was like yes I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and then you know we had the roach apocalypse okay and then I was just like I'm done with this play so luckily things are coming together I'm very happy with the surrounding area <laughs> I hit the camera y'all but I'm really happy with the area I'm really happy and thankful that me and Stu actually you know have our own place now because we didn't have our own place before and let me go ahead and lift my face so I was very busy today what about you guys let me know down below what did you guys get into today how was your day um while I was also busy, oh, I also watched a lot of YouTube videos. So one of my favorite things to do when I'm cleaning is actually watch YouTube videos, which I know that some people who follow me have said that to me before, like, oh yeah, I enjoy watching your videos while I'm cleaning, doing something else. I just put you on in the background. And that's comforting, you know, just like how people like to watch the mukbangs for someone else eating. You know, some people watch those things for not healthy reasons, like I'm on a diet and I just wanna watch somebody eat or, you know, then they use it for kind of like the inspiration. But like still, um, I'm hoping that this video inspires you to do something like in the realm of self care because that's what I'm doing, okay? And at the very least, I'm gonna come back and look at these videos and I'm gonna be like, okay, Aaliyah, take care of yourself because you felt so good when you were doing this, right? So, um, one of the things I wanted to talk about while I was, you know, washing my face, which again, it's funny because I was like, I'm not gonna wash my face and do a video every single time I wash my face. But the thing is, I got things to say too. So, I mean, there might be days that I won't have things to say, but so far I just have things to say every single time I wash my face. Um, so what am I going to say? Well, Trisha Paytas talked about the girl with the nose burn thing and supposedly, see, I don't have all the information, but supposedly Trisha Paytas product did not do that. 
and I don't know because the thing is everybody's skin is a little sensitive and allergic reaction she said the product gave her a chemical burn but then also didn't want to give the um, order number for the product she said that it was a gift from a friend and she was like okay can I get the friend's name or the order number for from the friend and she's like I don't talk to that friend anymore but you need to you know pay my hospital bills and I mean, in general, I don't want to like just be like, yeah, it was completely a lie because, you know, these are all, you know, possible things. But I just want to say, but um, I think that if someone's reaching out to you and they're like, I'll give you your money back, like I can like let me help the situation and you don't give them any of the information that they need. You can't just give something away for free. Um, then you can't really be mad if they can't, like, they don't give you the money back. And I'm saying this because when I was younger, when I was a little kiddo, wee kiddo, I sold something on eBay. And what I sold on eBay was like a, so there's this cream thing, <laughs> um, that you put on your face and it, takes the hair off and everything it was like it was laser zap it off keep the hair from growing back real fast and my mom she bought two of them one for me and one for her well she decided that she didn't really like the one from her and so she wanted to send the one from her back but it was too late so I was like I guess I'll go ahead and sell it on eBay now at this time I was probably like 12 13 selling things on eBay so <laughs> I was a hustler, baby. Um, sorry about keep hitting the uh, camera, the way it's set up. Um, so I was like 12 or so selling something on eBay. And um, I finally sold it. I made sure I packaged it and sent it off. The package was never opened personally by me because we already had one. We used the one. And my mom was like, no, nah, I don't really like this, right? So... I send it off in another box. It's still completely sealed from the factory, like how they sent it to me. And it gets to the girl. Like, it, I have tracking number and everything. It gets to the girl and she's like, um, I need my money back because it arrived broken. And I was like, okay, well, I never opened the package. So, like... I don't know if it was broken or not, but I never opened the package. I was like, okay, well, since it arrived broken, um, we have this thing where it will send you a return thing, right? You don't have to pay to return it or anything, but could you send it back to me then? And the person was like, oh, no, I don't want to send it back. I don't want to spend the money to send it back. And I was like... Well, actually, I can. you can send it back for free on my dime. This is me, a little 13-year-old. Like, you know, they have it set up so that you can send it back to me free on my dime. So, like, just send it back since you're not going to be using it because it was broken. And the person was like, no, I'm not going to send it back. Just give me my money back. And I'm just like... You see, it don't really work like that. That's what I was thinking. It doesn't really work like that. I'm not going to send this thing, pay for it to be shipped to you, right? And it was at that time where you pay for the shipping. So I was selling the thing for about $200, but I had to pay $30 for shipping because it went all the way to, like, Canada. And um, I was like, I'm not going to just give you the money back and you keep the product. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would like the product back. Um, and pretty much they got mad at me, they cussed me out, and then they just went MIA. Like, so I was like, oh, so they, they took away the dispute and everything. So I was like, oh, so they really didn't really, was there really a problem with it? So in these cases, as a business owner, it makes sense. You gotta be like, okay, well, can you give me more information? Because right now, Trisha Paytas is getting a lot of hate. Um, and... I'm pretty sure that's affecting the business, you know, and some people will be like, well, you know, it's the business lady fault for doing business with Trisha Paytas because she got a rocky past and this and this and that. And I recognize that. I think I got it too close to my eyeballs. I recognize that, you know, 
Miss Business Lady, you did choose to be in business with someone with a... Oh, I got it close to my eye. I got it too close to my eye. You did choose to be in business with a, with a woman like Trisha Paytas, okay? But also, it's just like... Where does the line get drawn between we don't like Trisha Paytas and let's ruin another person's career specifically the est esthetician okay because she's making the product um i don't really know but as of yet the product hasn't broken me out and i'm going to continue to use the product again would i say you guys go ahead use this product this is that miracle product no but i'm liking what it does to my skin and i'm liking how i'm taking the moment to really just take care of myself like just taking the moment to really just mm, with myself you know uh, it makes me like, every time I use it, I feel like my skin is getting smoother. That's the one thing I can say. Every time I use it, I feel like my skin is getting smoother. And I like the glow. Like, throughout the day, there's a glow to my skin that I didn't really have before. Now, I heard that this doesn't truly have SPF in it. Someone really researched it and stuff like that. So, it doesn't truly have SPF in it. So, I guess during the day, I'll also wear my own, like, um, SPF on top of it. Um, but other than that, it's really doing what it was said to be doing. It's giving what it was supposed to give. And that's something that I said before. It's giving what it's supposed to give. So, um, that's the, what's going on with the girl with the skin problem. And it, like, this is going to be like a whole month before you get it. So if any new information comes out, let me know in the comments down below. I'm not following it too closely, but, um... And maybe I'll even jump in. Now, I'm not going to jump in. But <laughs> I was thinking, like, maybe I'll jump in and be like, hey, the information has changed. I won't. But I'll leave it down in um, the comment. Like, it'll be a pinned comment where I'll give more information if anything changed that I'm aware of um, for later about this thing and how it's going to go if it turns into a lawsuit or not. Now, I understand that these products are handmade. These products are, like, not made in a factory or anything like that. And it seems like the lady's doing the pouring and the mixing and all that inside of her shop. So I understand that some some of the products might be worse than the other, like, batch. One batch might be bad, and that could possibly be the batch that the girl is working with. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm leaving the, the possibilities open. But if that was the case, the girl should also have given Trisha Paytas the information. Hey, I'm working with this batch because then it can help keep other people from having the same problem. You know, you know how people are like, hey, um, I don't know what it's really called, but some people have problems with the idea that hey, if whatchamacallit, the president's like, no more student loans, um, you don't have to pay these back. What about me? I have student loans with private loan people and stuff like that. And they're like, well, I'd be disappointed because, or I just paid my student loans off. So that's not fair. You should pay me back. Um, you know where I'm going with this? The whole idea that because I'm not, benefiting from this i don't really like it that other people are benefiting from this and so in that case i feel like the girl could be like hey it was this product or try to get that information so that other people aren't hurt because it's not just about her getting hurt is about other people also getting hurt in the in the other case of it's not just about you benefiting it's also about mankind benefiting you know what i'm saying so i don't know I just ramble when I'm putting this stuff on my face. Um, I'm putting it on before I go to bed. Um, I did a lot today. I hope that you guys got some things done. Let me know what you guys have possibly gotten done down below. And uh, at this point, I am done. Much love and positive vibes and i hope to see you guys next time like i said i'm not promising nothing i'm not promising nothing about 
doing this every single day because sometimes I feel like I might not have anything to say but it just so seems that I have a lot of things to say hopefully you guys are watching this video while you guys are doing a little nighttime ritual for yourself showing yourself a little love <laughs> mm. I don't know this it just feels nice to like just touch your face you know um again much love and